Hello and welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician and on today's episode we are going to go through routing and installing your spark plug wires. Uh, especially if you don't have any installed or if you've just uh, yanked them all out and you didn't really pay attention to where they go. Uh, it's no big deal because all the locations are marked on the distributor cap. Uh, so I'm going to go through and show you how to line those up, how to um, install those and get which cylinder goes on which. You got uh, one, two, three, four on this side, five, six, seven, eight this side, and we're going to line all those up with the distributor cap. So before we get into that, make sure you hit subscribe, give me that thumbs up, and make sure you hit the notification icon so you get notifications when I post a new video. So let's get to it. Okay, here is one of the distributor caps. They're both the same. So uh, one thing you can notice if you look at this one, it has a bunch of numbers and letters around it. So... Uh, what you want to look at is, um, you can see R1 right there, so if this is on the right side, which is the passenger side, then that is cylinder 1. If you if this is on the left side, such as this right now, this is on the left, that is going to be the uh, spot for cylinder 2, and so on and so forth. If it's on the right, this one's for 4. If it's on the left, this one's for 5. So it's um, that's basically how you want to line up the spark plug wires. So you're going to, on your passenger side, you have cylinders one, two, three, and four, starting at the front, one, two, three, and four, going towards the back, and on the driver's side, you have uh, five, six, seven, and eight, starting from the front. So this, the first cylinder towards the front is five, and six, seven, and eight, going towards the back. So that's how we're gonna line them up. Someone, someone at some point in time decided to put some electrical tape on this old one, and it's really hard now. You can hear it kind of crunchy, and it's really, yeah, so that's why I'm gonna replace these. I'm not getting the Mercedes one. I'm getting the uh, famous Bremies. I don't know, whatever, but they're still 2000 ohm. You can see right there, this is the Mercedes one. It's 2000 ohm. You can see the 2000 ohm right there. And uh, the new ones are 2000 ohm also, so I'm just gonna line up the length with the with these ones. You these The aftermarket ones don't have these cool um, cylinder markings on them like these ones do you can see that's one right there and on the other end you can see over here it also has a one and each one has that little thing on it I wish the new ones did also or nope can't take it off so um, let's start with cylinder one which is gonna be that one passenger side one two three four Alrighty, in case you were wondering where the wires go and how they're routed, you can, if you look inside the channel, this is on the passenger side, you can see that there are numbers right there. So the number right there on the left, it's a 7 and a 1 on the left channel, and on this front channel you got 6, 4, and that is a Z, it looks like, which is going to be your one of your coil wires, because you have one coming from this side. So on the other side, you're going to have... Here on the driver's side, you have five, three, five, four, two, and eight. And actually, that's three, five, and Z, two, and eight. Sorry, because uh, you're going to have a coil wire coming from this side. So that's the channel you put those wires in. And uh, I will, if, if I'm reading this right, that's going to be a two on the top and eight on the bottom. Or it might be a two on the bottom and eight on the top. We'll see how it fits, see if I can get these things routed correctly. Oh, there's a better picture of it. And then um, I already showed you the other ones for the uh, five and six. I'll show you those again. So right there you can see seven and eight. If you, my phone will focus. Actually six and seven right there. And then right here you're gonna have seven and eight, actually eight and five. You have eight and five right there. Eight and five. So all your spots are marked for where you need to route all your wires. All right, so cylinder one is gonna be right here. You can see that it says L2 R1, since this is on the right side, that's R1, that's gonna be right there. And you're gonna want this. They're all pretty much gonna be facing upwards, like that, then they're gonna loop around here. But you wanna take this side and feed it under your fuel rail. 
because this end's gonna be a lot harder to do. So this right here, cylinder one. And you're gonna wanna push it on until it clicks. Just like that. And this is gonna get routed. You're gonna have this. It's kinda gonna keep those just like that, so you're gonna wanna make sure that's open. Then route this down to the inside one. You're gonna double stack the wires right here so you can have four tucked in here. So make sure this one's tucked all the way down on the inside, all the way down on that guide right there, and on the inside one, all the way down. Pardon the noise, my washing machine's going. And then this is gonna go cylinder one right here, just like that. And then it's gonna be routed. Probably something like that. We'll figure out the routing once we get all of them in. Let's go to number two. Okay, so cylinder two is right here. You can see it says L2 right there. So that's gonna be cause L2 because it's cylinder two and it's on the left, so that's where it's gonna be. So we're gonna have to reroute this all the way this way from underneath your fuel rail right here. And cylinder two is still on your passenger side. So you're gonna have to route it from the left side to the right side. Just like the other one, push it on until it clicks. Then you're gonna have to reroute, make sure just like the other side has this little uh, keeper right there. So you can, you're gonna route all your wires through that. Get routed down there and then just like the other side you're gonna to want to put that all the way to the bottom and then what we're gonna do is just like the other side push it all the way down because you're gonna have uh, the wires stacked in here and there's guides you can have two on each one so this is gonna go right there and then this one we're gonna route you know, right next to the bottom one right here or right next to cylinder one but in the bottom, so you can have it just like that. Then, cylinder two. Actually, I went back and I rerouted it on the inside one, not on the front one, but on this one. So it goes nice and easy now, now that way. Okay, cylinder three, you can see right here it says, right there, it says L3. So since it's on the left, that's gonna be cylinder three. And we're gonna have to route that all the way to the other side of the again because cylinder three is on the passenger side. Now I read somewhere that um, some of the there, people were having issues with uh, these uh, Bremi ones being uh, the incorrect length and so far these have been pretty spot-on I'm matching up each one by length and just picking which one which ones fit so maybe the uh, maybe I'll get to some that are not correct but I haven't done that yet so um, okay I'll keep you updated so three gonna go all the way over here And then this one, I'm gonna route on the front. So you can see the right side is number four. You see it says R4 right there, so right side, cylinder four. And we're gonna need to, don't forget to tuck this under your fuel rail, right there like that. And number four goes right here. Just like that. Oops, forgot to hit record, but once you get those in, just go through and tuck all the wires in best you can. This side, you're gonna need to get it basically two up, two down, just so you can tuck it in this little channel right here. And then 
put those in there. Don't torque these down too much. They're plastic. You can see somebody in the past, not me, I promise it wasn't me, has uh, munched that one a little bit. And then give it a once over. Clean it up, make it look pretty. On to the other side. Quick little note, you can see right here, these are numbered five, six, seven, eight. So number five, which is gonna be this one right here, is gonna get put right there on that channel. And number five is going to go right here. You can see L5, it's on the left side, right there. Okay, I'm starting to see what uh, they were talking about. Yeah, some of these are gonna be a little long. Uh, so, R6 right here, it's on the right side. There's number six. The only six is right there. So we're gonna go right here to that one. Don't forget to tuck this through the fuel reel. And seven is gonna go right here. You can see where it says R7. And last but not least, cylinder eight. If it'll focus, something like that. Cylinder eight, it's the last one. All right, there we go. So when you're done, your wire should look something like this. Nice and in the right channels. These might be a little snug there, but that's how they're gonna, it should fit. And there's gonna be some coil wires that's gonna go in there too. I think the coil wire goes right there and somewhere else. We'll get those on when we get the engine installed because the coil wire has to go there and there. And this set came with coil wire. The wires on this side were a bit long, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you use an aftermarket uh, wire set. You kinda tuck them in there. Make sure you don't kink the wires at all. Just kinda make them, you know, nice soft bends. Whatever. Um, I need another plastic bolt. I had to use this one, or use one from this side, right there, for that one. But those are on there, and that's how it should look. Yeah, I know it's aftermarket, but it is what it is. That's what I'm gonna use. So, got them in. Well, spark plug wires are in. I know I'm probably gonna get a bunch of crap for how I did it. And the brand I used, probably, but I do have the covers for these also, but I need to run the harness, the new harness that I have. Um, so I have to connect, there's a connector here, there's a connector right here to the cam magnet on the other side. Uh, so I still gotta put those on. I do have those also. Um, so I think, Maybe next video we'll go farther into getting everything transferred over on here. Got to get the linkage for the back transferred over. As well as the springs, there's a spring that goes all along the side here. It's going to be really fun trying to transfer over. Uh, probably should have been done with the intake manifold out, but I'm going to see if I can get it with it in. Um, but that'll be next time. So, thank you for watching. Hit subscribe, give me that, give me that thumbs up, and uh, don't forget to hit the notification icon so you get uh, notifications when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.